Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, it's 8 p.m. and this is a new edition of Panorama News. In the upcoming 45 minutes we'll be bringing you the latest of the political, business and sports news happening all around the world. I'm Haini Saif, I'll be bringing you the political news for tonight and we'll start off with the headlines right away. President Sisi presided over an urgent meeting with the cabinet to discuss the bad weather. Experts begin voting in the runoff of the parliamentary elections. Syria's Assad said to favor vote, but only after victory. Welcome back to News in Details. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi presided over an urgent meeting with the full lineup of the cabinet on Monday at the presidential palace. The president, Sisi, instructed the government in coordination with all the state institutions and the armed forces to take all measures to contain the situation and all the repercussions that have occurred as a result of the unstable weather conditions in some cities. The president also gave his instructions to provide all care and compensations to the citizens who were affected and for the families of those who died for the bad weather conditions. Prime Minister Sharif Ismail accepted the resignation of Alexandria Governor Hanin Messiri and appointed the Deputy Governor to be the caretaker governor of the Governorate of Alexandria. The Prime Minister also said that all measures will be taken to transfer the head of the san sanitary company from his post, adding that he will assign the head of the water and sanitary holding company to follow up with the quick implementation of infrastructure and services projects, particularly the projects in Alexandria. Earlier, the Premier toured Alexandria's most damaged streets to inspect the situation on the ground and measures taken by the executive authorities. Torrential rains have lashed the Mediterranean city of Alexandria on Sunday, killing five people, including two children, and the captain of a ship who was trapped in his car by floodwaters. The downpour began in the early morning and quickly flooded several streets in Egypt's second city, as well as the Corniche. In South Sinai, the cities of Rasidra and Abu Zanima were also hit by torrential rains, which amounted to floods being accompanied by a sandstorm. General Director of the Crisis Management Operations Center in South Sinai, Assam Khidr, announced that there were no damages, adding that three main highways, including Toba Nueba, Wedi Soael San Catherine, and Wedi Ferran San Catherine, were closed due to floods that hit Watir Valley. Khidr stated that Nueva port was normally functioning, adding that Sharm el Sheikh port was closed since the afternoon. Meanwhile, the governor of South Sinai, Khaled Fouda, announced a state of emergency in the governorate. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi issued on Monday a presidential decree to amend the oil drilling and exploitation agreement over the area of North Alexandria. A license will be given to the Minister of Petroleum and Mineral Resources to amend this agreement with a number of companies in this regard. The decree also stated that the rules and procedures regarding this agreement should be implemented as law and above any other legislations. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi will start a tour on Tuesday that includes a visit to India, the United Arab Emirates and Bahrain. The President will begin his tour by visiting the United Arab Emirates. The aim of the visit is to tackle bilateral relations, the Middle East crises and means of combating extremism and terrorism. Sisi will then head to India to participate in the third India-Africa Forum, which comprises more than 40 African countries. The summit is to discuss ways to develop economic cooperation between India and the African continent and promote investment. The President will then head to the Kingdom of Bahrain for talks with King Hamad bin Ais al Khalifa. The two Arab leaders will discuss ways to boost bilateral relations and follow up on the existing coordination between them to cope with the current regional challenges. Egyptian expats began on Monday voting in the runoff of the first phase of the parliamentary elections. The elections are held in 139 embassies and consulates around the world. 
The two-day runoff starts at 9 a.m. and closes at 9 p.m., according to the local time of every country. Egyptians inside Egypt start on Tuesday voting in the runoff of the first phase. The first phase of the parliamentary elections is held across 14 governorates. Those include Giza, Fayoum, Beni Suif, Minya, Asyut, Soheg, Qina, Luxor, Aswan, New Valley, Red Sea, Beheira, Alexandria and Marsa Matruh. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Monday that the installation of cameras at Jerusalem's flashpoint Al-Aqsa Mosque compound must be coordinated with Israel. The Jordanian-run Islamic Trust that administers the holy site protested earlier that it had been blocked by Israeli police when trying to install the cameras.